Hey guys, so I'm really excited we're here at the Walt Disney Family Museum. I've always wanted to come here. It's been on my bucket list to come and see for a long time, ever since they opened it. I don't even know when they opened it, but I've been excited to go and check it out. So I'm excited to film it and show it to you guys. Just to let you guys know before we forget is that there is parking in front of the museum. Maximum is three hours for the parking and it costs us like seven dollars. What do you want to say? Do you want to say about the buildings? What building is in and the buildings, all these buildings that they were? So this is in the Presidio area of San Francisco and then on our tour that we were at yesterday they said that these buildings were buildings that were used for like this it's like the Civil War and World War One. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. So this area was has a lot of history here. We did purchase this ticket through our Go Adventure San Francisco, so it cost us about twenty dollars. So it's cheaper to do it that way than it is um, to buy the tickets directly through the museum. You don't need to wear masks or be vaccinated to come here. So yeah. All right, let's go. Let's go check it out. Is that his house? Uh, that's a miniature of his house and the train tracks that went around it. He had a, he had a cave? Yeah, he would go underneath. Crazy. He didn't want him to mess up their garden. So oh, okay. You see a beautiful uh, place of garden? from one of my favorite rides.
Okay, so we are still here at the Disney Family Museum. We just got out. It was super hot in there. Do not take a jacket. <laughs> Do not take a coat. It was hot and stuffy. It was really hot and stuffy. But what are your thoughts on the Disney Family Museum? Um, I enjoyed it. This is definitely something that was for me more than it was for you. I mean, I've read the Neil Gabler book like three times and a whole bunch of other, you know, biographies and things on Walt Disney. So it was cool to go and see a lot of the stuff that I have read about, you know, like seeing like the marriage certificate was cool and seeing some of the busts of the figures and some of the documents. And there were some audio recordings that I had not heard before of him talking about like Pat Powers and, you know, um, Roy living with Walt and stuff like that. It was, I'm sure it's out there. I, I just, I haven't either seen it or, or, or heard it before. And so I thought it was really cool to see and hear it. And when we got to the Disneyland section, I thought that was really cool to see. It was just, it was, it was good. I, I, I felt like I was going to cry at the end, but I kind of knew it was coming like after the Disneyland stuff, because I know so much about, you know, the Disney history and stuff. But um, I really, I enjoyed it. I, I feel like if you're a huge Disney fan, it's definitely something great to go and check out. You know, um, you know, like I said, it was cool to go and see a lot of the stuff that I've read about. I feel like if you're not a huge Disney fan, like in terms of like the history, it might be boring for you. It might be boring for like little kids until you get to like the Disneyland section and stuff like that. But I, I, I enjoyed it overall. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, there's not a lot of stuff for the little kids. I think little kids would get bored really quickly. And there's not it's not like a lot of interactive things. There was only like one or two things that you could do that were interactive. Um, the whole thing took us about an hour and 40 minutes. So. Yeah, we paid for three hours. I think we saw about an extra hour. For so parking, we, yeah. For parking. So we may walk around and, and check out this area because this area does have some neat buildings and some history to it so when we check it out okay but yeah overall i i enjoyed it